So how is everyone today? So last time, last time we had just begun talking about uh, matrices. So we'll pick up that discussion as soon as the thing comes on. Okay. <laughs> okay. So today is the twelfth. So we had been talking about matrices. So uh, a few remarks is that uh, we'll say that a vector for the purposes of this discussion anyway, a vector uh, with say three elements is something that is written in the following way. So x1, x2, and x3. So I did it specifically with three elements, but you can imagine what it would mean to have a vector with seven elements. It would mean that it'd be x1 through x7. And two a covector with three elements is something that's written like this x1, x2, x3. So because of the way that they're uh, because of the way they're written, very frequently this is also known as a column vector. And if we're going to refer to this one as a column vector, how will we refer to this one? A row vector. Okay, so three, a matrix, matrix uh, is a collection an ordered, ordered collection of vectors. Specifically, you could uh, view it in this way. So here's a matrix, and it could be uh, written as x1, y1, uh, sorry, x1, x2, x3. And then y1, y2, y3, z1, z2, z3, w1, w2, w3. So in particular, uh, what, I, what I mean by an ordered collection of vectors is this, you can view this first one as a vector, this second one as a vector, this third one as a vector, and this fourth one as a vector. So these are, in that way, you could view this as uh, a collection of four vectors.
But if you wanted, you could also view it as, as a collection of covectors. How many covectors is it? Three. Three covectors. So you can you can view this either as four vectors or three covectors. Now, for for something to be uh, a matrix, all of the all of the vectors must have the same number of elements. That is to say, notice that all of these have three elements. This one has three, that one has three, that one has three, that one has three. It, it, it's not permissible for you to take one that has three and one that has eight and one that has two. You can't do it that way. They all have to be the same kind. Similarly, uh, the, the, uh, the covectors all have to be the same kind. So these are covectors of four elements. And these are vectors of three elements. And then, in the same way that this is also called a column vector, and this one called a row vector, when you, when you look at a matrix, it, it's very often you ask, well, how many rows does it have? Well, how many rows does it have? Three. And how many columns does it have? Four. Four, right? So as a result, <coughs> the shape of this, of this particular matrix that we have written down is given as rows and then times columns. But you don't, you don't uh, actually perform that multiplication. You just report the shape as being, for this particular matrix, 3 by 4. <coughs> so here's a, here's a matrix that's 3 by 4. And because all the vectors have to have the same number of elements and all the covectors have to have the same number of elements, uh, you can view a matrix as a rectangular array. Okay, so three rows, four columns. So any question about just the, what a, what a matrix is? Okay, so <coughs> that being the case, uh, four, you can, you can add uh, and subtract Ve uh, vectors and covectors and matrices that have the same shape. So as a sort of a, a bit of backwards continuity, uh, if we're going to refer to this as having shape three by four, rows by columns, then we can, as a matter of backwards continuity, refer to this one as having a shape. What's the shape of this one? Three by one. Three by one, because it has three rows, rows, <laughs> and one column. Okay, and then what's the shape of this one? One by three. So, as a matter of backwards continuity, you can refer to a column vector as a matrix. And sometimes uh, it's referred to as a column matrix. And sometimes this is referred to as a row matrix. So, you can add and subtract matrices that have the same shape. So, for example, you could, I could say, uh, Here's a, uh, a vector, one, two, uh, one, three, five, say. And then to that, we can add uh, negative eight, four, zero. And then it adds in exactly the way you might think it does. You add the first components together, the second components together, and the third components together. So what would the first component be? Negative seven, and then the second? Seven, and the third? Five. Five. Okay, nothing, nothing really surprising there. So you can add, add vectors and covectors and matrices together so long as they have the same shape. So this is fine, this is fine, uh, but something like this would not be fine. So one, three, five, and then add to it, say, uh, zero, one. What about this? This is undefined. Okay, very good. So any question about uh, these things so far? <coughs> so now, for reasons that I can't really get into a lot because I'm trying to move quickly through this, this bit, you can also multiply matrices. So I'm going to remind you how, it, remind you or perhaps show you for the first time 
how to uh, multiply two matrices. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so this is product of matrices. So if you have two matrices, A is M by N. That is to say it has M rows and N columns. Or if you like, uh, it, has, it, it is a collection of N vectors or a collection of M covectors. And another matrix, B, which is uh, N by P, that is to say it, you can view it as being P vectors or n covectors, uh, you can compute their product. Their product AB, uh, and I'll note that this is because <coughs> these those two indices, that this one has n columns and this one has n rows, these are the same. And then using the following definition. Definition. And I'm going to do it just by example because most of you have already seen this before. Okay, so suppose that we have uh, matrix A is, uh, how about 1, 2, 3. And zero, negative four, two. So what's the shape of A? Uh, yes, three by two. Three rows and two columns. Uh, so if I want to make a matrix, a second matrix B, and I want to make the product AB, then uh, what needs to be true about B? It has to have two rows. It has to have two rows, and how many columns does it have to have? As many as you like. So, <coughs> so it has to have two rows. So how about uh, mm, two, three, seven, zero, uh, and then five, six. Now let's 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 do more than five six because I wouldn't want you to think that there's something special about three two and two three uh, five six. 